I'm back with another video. <laughs> guys i know i did that already but you know we back with a chit chat get ready with me ain't done one of these in a while but i want to do like a little mini life rant chat with you guys got me some tea you know yep um we gotta do this because it's a content day and we're going to shoot with jada after this so i gotta kind of like hurry up so let's get it to it um but pause make sure you like comment and subscribe don't don't go no further so you don't watch the intro you don't watch my little clip in the front of me kicking, which, you know, because I'm cute, funny, <laughs> talented. <laughs> why, why are you still not subscribed? Fan behavior. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, what is up, you guys? I don't really know which one I use. I'm going to go with one Um, I haven't did a chit chat get ready with me in a while. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Um, I missed this getting ready in front of the camera. It's kind of hard, like. People be thinking like, oh, just check it ready to me is like the easiest video. No. You end up late. You end up deleting stuff, going back, skipping products. I primed, moisturized, did my brows off camera and my edges because you know that just takes forever. So let's get into the skin, baby. Yeah, so what's up, guys? I wanted to do a little up mini, 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 mini life update. First of all, I hope everyone's staying safe. That's A. Please wear your mask. Um, B, for me, y'all, for the next six months, I meant, I meant to share my goals, or I did share my goals with you in my last vlog. You better have watched that, too. I just feel like, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, so for the next six months, A, I'll be finishing up my master's degree in May of 2021. Y'all remember when we was trying to graduate undergrad and how I said I was so upset and I had to do an extra semester, but you know, we still graduated four and four album period, no more, no less. <laughs> um, um, it's amazing to think that like this time, why did I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Like, it's amazing to think, like, I was on this channel ranting at y'all about how upset I was I wasn't graduating in time, how I was upset because I feel like my GPA wasn't the best to get into law school, and now your girl about to graduate with her, her master's, boo, y'all watched me graduate, y'all watched me graduate on this channel, if that video is still up and maybe down, because, you know, you're not, you're not. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited, I want to say good luck to everyone this semester, undergrad grad uh, phd law school anything you know just good luck i hope and wish you nothing but a 4.0 less procrastination because we all procrastinate and you know we get to the grade we get to the bag you know if you graduate in the semester kudos to you just mm -hmm. kiss um but yeah and i also want to say stay on top of your schooling like for me like i i'm always on top of them i'm on top of the bursar's office i'm on top of my advisors my professors because baby ain't nobody about to play me i'm not about to be paying out of pocket i'm not about to be paying um you know paying back loans and stuff that i don't need taking classes i don't need you know making the process longer if i i had three classes a semester if i didn't check and make sure that i really only needed two so i could take two in now and two in the spring so financially it will cover me i would have been as so yeah, pay attention. Okay, stay on them. If you're annoying them, oh well, you're you're doing your job as a student because they will finesse you into taking extra classes. They will finesse you into um, paying extra money for things you don't really need. Like I don't, I don't know why schools are like this, but I've caught I caught my undergrad advisor doing it. Like he was like, oh, we're taking electives because you know. You know, you really have classes to take. And I went on there to do my class schedule, and I'm like, what is a mandatory elective? And baby, I had like three of them to take, and he didn't tell me that. And then I emailed him and asked him, he's like, oh, yeah, but you know, usually students take those, um, like, once they're done with all their core stuff. Sir, wait. No. You wanted me to take all my core classes and then go back and take electives? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Yeah, he was dumb. So make sure you stay on them, um, stay on financial aid, don't let them play you, apply for all grants, scholarships, all of that, and you know, get to the bag. I hope everyone does great this semester. 
Um, on to my six months goals that should have been in my last vlog, but you know, it may go up after this. You know, at the end of the day, watch the videos. If you're subscribed, then you'll know, you know, when and what I'm talking about. But the next six months, I am dedicating to studying for the LSAT. If anyone has taken it that watches this channel, or you know, you just scroll the pond, <laughs> your girl T, please, 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 please leave me comments down below with advice, because y'all. I'm a nervous wreck. Like, I'm not the best test taker. I'm looking for a brush, y'all. Give me one second. Alright. Alright. I was saying, I'm not the best test taker. Like, I don't know. Taking tests, my mirror's up here at all because this one's using. Mm -hmm. But my light don't. don't. Um, I'm not the best test taker. Like when I took the SAT the second time in high school, y'all, my hand was shaking. Like I was scared. Like I don't even know. I feel like through college I've gotten a little bit better. Like you know I've gotten better. Um, but. I'm still a little nervous like this is a big test this is a big step this is what I always wanted to do in a sense like so that's why maybe I'm like bugging out like I signed up for the law association council this week um, just for extra help and when it comes to actually applying to schools that'll be easier for me um, I did find three programs that I want to apply to so I'm gonna go visit them before I even start the application process like when it came to undergrad like i'm pretty sure i mentioned this on my channel i went to three schools it was never like oh let's go visit and see which one i like the best it was kind of like just happened because of like the fire and everything and then transferring blah, blah, blah. so this time with going to law school i really want to like hone in on like trying like going to visit the school and um what am I trying to say? Visiting the school and seeing if it's a fit for me. Like, I want to see the surrounding areas. I want to go to these different states. Um, I want to go look at apartments and pricing and, you know, things like that. Because it'll be a big girl move for me. Hopefully next, um, next fall. And I usually don't share my plans with anybody. But y'all are the Glam Fam and this channel is covered by God himself. So it's like, oh, I might as well share because you never know, I might find somebody in the comments like, girl, I'm trying to do the same thing. Like, let's link up and talk, you know, how, what do you, you know, we, what prep are you using? You know, what schools are you looking at? What kind of law do you want to study? So, you never know, I'm sharing with you guys. So that's what my next six months would look like. On top of, you know, me, um, you know, finishing this fall, hopefully with a 4.0, baby, a 4.0. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm excited, a little nervous. Like I said, it's a big girl move. And it's also my selfish move. Like, I hate the word selfish. Like every time I've like been talking about this, like I've been saying it. Selfish has such a negative cognitive behind it. So I don't like saying like, oh, it's my selfish move. But when I say my selfish move, it's because I literally don't have anyone else to think about when making this decision. Like I don't have kids. I don't have... A man that y'all know about <laughs> I don't you know I don't have to think about you know anybody else I don't think about really anybody else making this decision so I'm calling it like my selfish move like it's not in a negative way but like I can pack up and move to Nebraska <laughs> I can pack up and move to uh, Arkansas if I really wanted to like who gonna stop me I don't have no ties, you know. I don't have anything crazy here to hold me back. My mom's like, do it, go, you know, live your life. So I guess in the next six months, we'll see. By May, we'll know where the Glam Fam is going for law school. Like, ah, that's so exciting to think about. Like, ah, I'm nervous, but it's like, ah, girl, do it. Do it, scared. Do it, scared. Pretty sure that was in the video before this. Do it, scared. It was scared. I feel like I'm so bright right now. I really hope y'all can see me. I really do. It's gonna be good for you if you can do that. So, can y'all see me? Um, but yeah, that's the school. That's a part of my six months. Of course, 
as well as my six months is like growing growing closer to god but y'all know i do my monthly plans so my september goals were like so as i was saying she was scared like that's where i'm at with everything that i want to do in my life i be a little nervous doing it skirt like it really don't matter i don't know if y'all can tell that my camera cut off and i had to re like get situated but yeah Two scares. Um, I looked at my September calendar as I was doing it, and I'm like, girl, you're putting a lot on yourself and on your plate. And then I sat and I watched Pastor Darius Daniels, and he his message was, well, his message right now is unbreakable. So it was unbreakable commitment. And if, when you're committed to something, there's no way that you won't be rewarded at the end. Um, and that's with God, that's with school, that's with your job, that's with weight loss goals, like that's with everything. So like right now, I'm on my unbreakable commitment, boo. Unbreakable commitment. Because honestly, the only way you're going to succeed at anything in life is to commit to it fully. Um, and diving in and doing it scared. Like, I'm nervous for all the things that I have planned, but at the end of the day, like, this is what I wanna do. This is the what this is what I want to do. I want to be that lawyer. I want my certification. I want you know to graduate. I want to drop the weight. So it's like I want to be consistent on YouTube. So it's like I'm going to do it. Like I'm doing it scared. It was like, you know, if you know that your best friend could get up at 8 p.m. and work out, cool. That may not work for you, you know? You you're not a night person. You know, at 8 o'clock, you know you need to rewind from the day, relax. You need to get up earlier. I know you may not be a morning person, but you want enough pounds to come off, right? It's just that simple. You know, you want a higher score on, in this class or in this grade. You know, you need to put in that extra study time. Some people don't have to study three, four weeks in advance, but you do. So get it done. Like, it's just that simple, baby. It's just that simple. Like, that's how I'm with myself. Like, I'm telling myself, like, it's just that simple. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Like, literally, that's what I'm telling myself now. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to be an influencer? How bad do you want a great LSAT score the first go round? How bad? That bad? Get it done. That's my advice to anybody. You want it that bad? Get it done. Because who else is going to do it? Somebody else is going to do it. Somebody else is going to get up at 7 a.m. and go walk. Somebody else is going to stay up 2 o'clock in the morning studying. Somebody going to miss that party, you know, that brunch, that outing to make sure, you know, they're charged up for the week, you know? So that's where I'm at with things. And I hope everyone else is... Hearing this and feeling like the same thing, like, yeah, why, what was holding me back? Get it done. Get it done. But hold on, I'm about to go ahead and do my eyeliner and pop on my lashes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just fast forward for this. Grab a watch me and you're gonna slay your face too. Boy. Let's do it. Alright, that's better. Let that dry. I'll do my lips on camera for y'all. Do a Q tip just to clean my lips. Um, get off all that extra. Um, foundation i know some of you like that i don't i like the natural color in my lips so that's just what i like to do but y'all let me know in the comments like what's up with y'all if you have september goals you have six months goals if you know you've started your faith walk if you you know just different things i really would love to keep up with you guys because we're a family and you know sometimes hearing from other people helps you push a little bit harder. Like, I love when I get comments like, your videos help me. Your, you know, your Instagram inspires me. Like, it made me feel so good. And I've had some people hit me up like, yo, you made me want to start a YouTube channel. You made me want to do this. And I'm just like, a little video on me. A little video on me. Like, I ain't even nowhere where I want to take this channel. I'm not nowhere where. Oh, I didn't put no highlight on my lip. I'll fix it. Uh... Nowhere where I can see myself actually going. Like, not there yet, but it's for people like, oh, like, you know, you've been tired. I'm just like, that's when I be wanting to cry. So I have a highlighter right there. It looks like I have a mustache, I know. Um, that's when I want to cry. And I did cry. Some of y'all messages did make me cry. I told y'all that. I'm a, I'm getting more emotional as I get older. And you know what I think it is? I've got to soften my heart. And he's done so. Um, 
But I ain't want God. I ain't want to be crying all the time. Like, but you know, when you ask God, you got to be prepared for whatever comes with it. So I asked him to soften my heart. And I feel like he really has done so. I'm so more now, so more in touch with my feelings and allowing myself to feel things. I'm going to fix that, y'all. Don't even trip. You know, allowing myself to feel things and take things in and, you know, not hold them in like I used to. I used to be like, nah, can't do that. I'm an OG. I'm an OG gangster for real. <laughs> At least that's what I would tell myself. Like, girl, you can't be crying. You can't be crying. Now I just be crying. Let me try this lipstick. I haven't tried it before. It's an instant pump, but I thought it was like a, um, a gloss. Oh. The glass on pretty. Let's see if it actually works. Um. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I done took my scarf off. I fixed up my face. The little imperfections I felt like were ranked to my standard. And I turned my light down. I really hope I can use this footage. Obviously, if you see it, then I use this footage too. Yeah, but that's all. I got my locks. I just took my scarf off, honestly. Um. I just took my scarf off, honestly, just to see. Why is it like when I start talking, y'all start doing whatever outside? You done? All right, I, that wraps up this video. I'm going to end it here because I don't want to get interrupted any anymore. And I have to get ready to go. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Make sure you guys are like, comment, and subscribing, staying safe. Message me on any of my social medias. Continue the faith walk. Stay consistent. Stay committed. Um... And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you on my next one. Mwah.